hi hi everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to some more stray kids and we are here today with the well anticipated music video for scars now i will not lie to you guys i missed the premiere i was aiming to watch it but then i figured because i'm doing a reaction and because i know i'm gonna pause and rewind and just probably lose my mind the premiere was not probably the best time for me to watch it so i've held off for about 30 minutes and now i'm watching it just shortly afterwards also, in regards to spoilers, I know nothing. The only little bit of information I know about this song is from like the little introduction video or whatever video they released a few weeks ago where we heard Chan's small segment and in the backing of that was the instrumental for Changbin's cipher. And honestly, when I heard that, my mind was blown because Changbin's cipher, as much as it's a thrill ride, like that song switches so much the opening is stunning it's so beautiful it's so emotional it's so raw and knowing that we've got that in this song makes me so so happy because i was like i need i need a whole song of this like it's beautiful i need a whole song of this and i think we're gonna get it so that's the only thing i've heard and then the only other thing i've done is looked at the lyrics as soon as i read them after knowing that this song is kind of based on their trials and tribulations of them as trainees and how far they've come it's very emotional as for somebody who's watched the survival show quite recently and seen you know the hell they went through these lyrics really hit home but also again like straight kids it can be relatable to anyone and everything and their personal kind of experiences which i've said from day one skiers are always amazing at doing so yeah that's enough talking for me for now what do i always say guys get a snack get a drink make sure you're comfortable let's go so even from the opening they're just walking all together on a journey with their baggage which could be a metaphor in itself you know people have different weights on their shoulders it could be different you know different emotional baggages they have i mean that's probably getting a bit deep but i'm just saying and they're all together walking through what looks to be like a wasteland or like a, 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 a an apocalyptic type zone i mean it might not be but it looks that kind of way which again could be like a reference to how you know they journeyed together through hell and back you know like i just said with the survival show you know because it it was a very tough time for them and this looks like it was going to be a tough adventure so again that could be could be reading too much into it you never know but anyway are we ready this is scars three two one press play Boop. i never cry because i know that i'll never change you're right chan <gasps> That's them like practicing together, oh my Okay, okay, so much is happening. Oh my god, I was like, I was like, oh, I pause and I just couldn't, uh, what's going on? They've all got tattoos. Jason has a tattoo on his neck, right? That's him in the booking hand, he has a tattoo on his neck. Okay, and also I feel weirdly emotional. That I feel like really weirdly emotional from that opening, like Chan's voice. Like, Chan, what are you doing? He sounds freaking beautiful and then leading into, fr oh, Chan being, okay, I'm sorry. That just hit, that hit really hard. Chan, Christopher Bang. <sighs> okay, three, two, one. Press play. I'm sorry, you should know. I'm gonna pause. I never cry because I know that I'll never change. Hit the shit in a by shot. I hit her that the cheats a kisser. Now I'm told a son in a kiddo. Jesus, oh my god, the pants I've just noticed. Sorry. You told me that she got a kid to boost us. These two, though. What are you making? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the frick? Sorry. Sorry, Lena. The, the, the outfits, the emotion. Like, I'm feeling everything. I'm feeling everything that's coming out of their mouths right now. And these outfits of choreography, oh my gosh. This was so unexpected. I'm so sorry, we're 28 seconds in. I, I'm serious, sincerely sorry, but if you know me, this is what happens. <laughs> Oh, 
eyes filled with tears <laughs> why are they filled with tears like oh my god skiers what's happening guys why are you doing this to me today i'm like oh my god what's what's going on Jesus in the crop top! Ah! <laughs> <clears throat> um, Changbin, stop. Stop whatever you're gonna do because I. <laughs> Are we serious? Are we actually serious? Because no. How have I got like another two minutes of this? <laughs> the, 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 you just need to try me, oh my god. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry. Watch out for darkness. Oh no, are you okay? What are you swinging that around for? <laughs> Swing me, <in>, sorry. <laughs> that is hot. And his voice, oh wait. Ghosts are all over the place, is that what that said? Listen, listen, listen. I just, I just don't understand what's happening right now. <laughs> Like, I literally do not understand what's happening right now. I've had a few people actually comment recently asking me, A, who my bias is with Stray Kids, which is a, an interesting question. And B, why I don't scream about Jisung as frequently. Is this is this your answer? Because I think we're getting it. Anyway, Sung me with that microphone, then Jisung with, with Jisung. Just Jisung. That's all I need to say. He's got a fucking tattoo on his neck. I'm stressed. Okay. Anyway, three, two, one, press play. I can't, I can't do this, I can't do this, okay, I'm fine. His little pigtail, oh my god, okay. Alright, okay, 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 okay. Sorry. Sorry. Felix. Oh my god, he's hot. Okay, okay. Wake up. Wake up, Chan. What's that? Ghost? G ghost leaving? What's happening? Look at my bin song. Just chill, boys. Chill. Like, huh. Why am I, what my hands doing? Oh my God. Look at, uh, that, that, that is like wallpaper worthy. Oh my God. Why did I feel like I was going to cry? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> What? What just happened? 
Guys, what just happened? All right, I'm sorry. That was probably a horrific mess, but you guys should know me by now that I do not go into these things half-heartedly. I go into these reactions as if I wasn't on camera. I would have been the exact same whether this camera was rolling or not, honestly. And that was without a doubt a hundred million times better than I actually anticipated it to be. I did the drop. How many times have I said that that kind of skiz music is like my all time favorite ever skiz music? And they've done it, but they've paired it with emotion and just raw, just heart wrenching lyrics and sounds and just imagery and choreography. I'm just genuinely blown away. And I also fully understand why I've been told I need to watch it several times because so much happened, but I've had my breakdown. I've had my initial holy freaking hell look at them moments i'm now gonna watch it again and i promise you i will not pause i just want to watch it and listen to it because the only bits that really registered in my head there was chance opening because i had to listen to it like five times and the drop the rest of it i'm sorry it's gone in one ear and out the other because everything else was just hitting me it's like sensory overload with these guys it really is uh but anyway this is scars round two three two one press play I never cry because I know they will never change. He to share and I'm sure. Sorry. Okay. <sighs> Why is this song called? I love how they all have tattoos. It's a scars. Chasing the ghosts away. Oh, my God, Ghost again? So the ghost following them? So men, my goodness. Is it like ghost of the past or something? <laughs> like so many times <laughs> yes yeah, so he's he's drawn that right that was it right at the end i'm sorry but this is beautiful like it genuinely makes me want to cry i don't know why <laughs> chan it's always chan 
Look at that, like, look at that. Ah! Oh God, why am I making these stupid animalistic noises? Like, look at, ah, uh, ah, uh, look at Chan. Oh my God, like, ah, uh, so much feeling right now. I don't know, why am I being like this? I'm sorry. <sighs> look at that, stunning. Ah. Uh. Gosh. <laughs> okay, time for me to talk about that. How? How am I supposed to talk about that? I need to watch it so many more times because there's so much going on. It's unbelievable. I I've got to admit the one thing I'm really glad. Well, actually, two things I'm really glad about. The first is that I didn't do any teasers, any spoilers, any nothing. That was like new everything was new to me apart from that very initial opening with chan because that was the little bit we'd had teased the second thing i'm really really happy about is the fact that i read the lyrics because it just made that whole thing hit differently so going into it already knowing what they're singing about really really helped and also kind of the whole um theory we've got going i don't know if it is it a theory of they have they actually confirmed that it's pretty much about their trials and tribulations as trainees like where did that come from has that been actually said because i fully understand where they where they're coming from now because every little bit in that had a hint to, to where they came from where they started and what they went through and i think it is just so important that it that that was included because i think a lot of people have this image in their head that because of the entertainment company they're underneath they have this privilege and it's used so many times in fan wars like you know they're, they're basically handed everything on a silver platter whereas it's not it's genuinely not the case especially for skiz like even just looking back at their at their survival show and i think a lot of people don't know about this especially people who don't know skiz or stand them actually know what they what they went through to get to where they are like a lot of people just dismiss that and just miss all the hard work i mean just look at chan chan in himself was a trainee for seven years like if that doesn't scream that not privileged then i don't know what does i don't understand where that comes from like and it really annoys me whereas this is pretty much their kind of memoir of what they went through and the fact that they went through all this shit and all this hell and all this just hard work like like everyone else i'm not just saying it's just them that's gone through it and they got out to the other side but not without developing scars along the way which again anyone can pretty much interpret in their own way we all have things in our life that we've been through that have left scars on us whether they're physical or, or emotional we all have them and referring to them as a tattoo is so clever because you know people get tattoos purposefully i do i'm covered in tattoos you know there's there are things i put on my body because it's permanent the same as a scar however scars are not always self-inflicted you know and it just shows that we'll we'll always have them regardless whether we did it to ourselves or not yet we still come out on the other side regardless of the scars in our body it doesn't matter you know and then i just love the bit where it's look up what for brightly my scars i will show it all so no matter what happens they will wear these scars on display proudly which it's amazing it just proves like we made it you know they still have so far to go but they made it and the scars they wear from their past just show how far they've come and what they've overcome and yeah amazing anyway i have been talking um non-stop for the last like six minutes i apologize i might have cut this i don't know um but yeah jisung amazing what are you doing stop it <laughs> you look beautiful like ah um the transitions the choreography the the outfits the emotion everything they all did phenomenal the vocals holy hell all of them my goodness it was just a beautiful 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 song and the breakdown i loved it obviously and then that end picture of them that was like <laughs> excuse me <laughs> i was emotional very emotional um but i'm glad they did that because it just proves like they go for all this journey and that at the end they're still together they're still all eight of them just sat there together and they're smiling and then there was just chan chan checking on them and then he was there at the end you know patting jangin on the shoulder and just standing there and you instantly gravitate towards him as like the leader like he did this and they've just come together so beautifully and oh my god god i love them it's mental it's mental how much i actually love them like what the hell they're so inspirational people like wow 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 anyway yes i'm actually gonna stop now because i've just spoken so much i've spoken more than the actual video length um but yeah thank you for being here guys thank you for tuning in if you have listened to me to the very end here thank you so much you know i always appreciate when people actually listen to me i know i talk a lot but i don't really have anywhere else to say this so thank you for listening um thank you for tuning in if you've got any kind of 
theories or any of your own kind of experiences you want to share comments anything just please I love hearing about you you know your guys and your thoughts and what you think and it just makes this whole experience of doing YouTube so much more enjoyable for me especially when I get more of personal responses from you it's just really really lovely but yeah no thank you for being here guys thank you for tuning in I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did and I will no doubt see you very very soon for some more do 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 stray kids bye thanks for watching thanks for watching